Okay. Well, maybe I should stand this side. Then. Wow, it's just so exciting. Stony to fall. This Stony likes to introduce a guy you have heard his voice. But now you see how this guy looks like. It is the ITTF voice. It is Adam Bobro. You know him from all TV shows. Now Adam, tell me, when did you have the idea to start something different to make something like table tennis show? Man, um, I've wanted to grow the sport for a long time. And I think it's entertainment, so it's important to give people an experience that they can enjoy. And whether they call it ping pong, table tennis, whether they're beginner, competitive, everyone should have a good time. So, yeah, I guess it's entertainment and uh, in entertainment, it needs to be a, a fun show for people to experience, whether they're playing, watching. So I guess that's my thinking. For me, poor guy, it's not only entertainment, it's a complete Hollywood movie. And you are one of the top stars and you have always other big stars like Marlon or Franzen Dong or Timo Boll on your side. So, can you tell us? What was your best scene you've ever had in this Hollywood movie? Oh, Featuring man. Featuring Adam Bobro. <laughs> like actual movies? Uh, it's a good question. I mean, I had a small role in the movie Ping Pong Playa, and there was a fight scene during the tournament. So that's probably it. I mean, my acting career was more commercial video games voiceover than anything. I did a few movies, but very small roles. So yeah, that was probably the biggest. So, okay, then let's have a science fiction movie. What do you think, what could happen in table tennis all over the world and especially in your career? Well, in theory, if you're asking me to exercise my imagination, um, this is how we could discover contact with life um, in other galaxies. Maybe if you hit a special spin um, in, com in response to another spin, it sends a signal, like there are actual waves, right? coming off of the ball that create a change in space-time and that's how they communicate in other galaxies so then they contact us earthlings and it's table tennis that brings the universe together and we discover so much but it only happens when someone gets so creative that they're fully relaxed and they do something that they've always dreamed to do in table tennis and that's how they discover this other life Maybe that's one spin that we could if put you on don't it. stop, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying away with this story. I remember in Star Trek I saw them table tennis playing. Mm -hmm. It's now the time to have, to continue this, to have a new Star Trek with you or whatever you Let's have see. in your mind. Because I see you are so creative, we can't expect everything. <laughs> I thank you so much, sure. it was so nice to meet you and I'll be sure I wait for all I can see for you in the future, like all the friends you have all over the world. Have a good time! Thank you, it's been years that we've been talking on Facebook and now we meet in person, so nice to meet you, Stoney. Greetings to Danny Sinola! <laughs> Okay.